This is three fast ways to knock out black from a design in Photoshop. To make it easier to check our work after each way, let's add a new layer, then shortcut shift delete to fill with black. Move it behind and hide the layer. First, we'll use color range. Make sure your layer is selected and unlocked. Go to select, then color range. Use the dropper to click on the black. You'll notice on this image, the black inside the dragon's head is a little lighter, so we're going to use the plus dropper to select that black as well. This window here shows what's selected. Once all of your black colors are selected, click invert and click OK. Now, in the layers panel, click on layer mask, which is the rectangle with the circle in it. That will create a layer mask with the selection. Sweet, let's zoom in and make sure we didn't create any semi-transparent pixels. Ooh, and we did. So with the mask selected, go to Image, Adjustments, and Threshold. A window will appear. The triangle should be in the middle, and click OK. This is going to force the pixels in the layer mask to either be 100% white or 100% black. Any gray in the mask will produce semi-transparent pixels. Now, turn on the black layer to check your work. Yep, looks great. Knocking out a color, especially black, when the graphic is going on a black shirt will make it feel so much softer. It's a simple thing you can do that will give you a major edge over your DTF competition. Second, we'll use the magic wand tool. This was my go-to for a long time. Make sure your layer is selected and unlocked. Shortcut W will bring up the magic wand tool. Make sure add to selection is selected, tolerance is set to 10, Anti-Alias is checked, and Contiguous is not checked. Click on the black background. If necessary, click on the black lines in the dragon's head. Once all of the black is selected, use the shortcut Command-Shift-I on a Mac or Control-Shift-I on a PC to invert the selection. Now on the Layers panel, click on Layer Mask, and let's zoom in to make sure we didn't create any semi-transparent pixels. And we did. So, like before with the mask selected, go to Image, Adjustments, Threshold. Click OK, and we'll check our work by turning on the black layer. Yep, looks great. Lastly, we'll use the Layer Style panel. Make sure your layer is unlocked. Right-click on the layer and select Blending Options. This opens up the Layer Style panel. At the bottom of the window, you'll see the Blend If area. On the current layer slider, click on the triangle that's to the left under the black and begin to slide it to the right. You'll see the black begin to disappear. Once it's removed all of the black, click OK. Now, like before, let's zoom in and verify there are no semi-transparent pixels. Nope, this one's good to go. Now, the first two ways will work to knock out any color. However, the last option only works if you're knocking out black or white. I hope this video helps you work faster and produce better quality DTF products for your customers. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more tips, tutorials, and some tomfoolery. Have you seen the Office episode?